I'm going to use Vertec 42's to-do list to show you how to use Excel sorting and filter features. I have my to-do list set up here. The to-do list is how to make the perfect sandwich. So in this case, it's kind of filled out already with uh, information. Um, you see the status, priorities, due date, owner, project task, and notes are all filled out. The first thing I'm going to do is sort by priority. To do that, you simply come to this arrow here to the right of the label and you click on it. At this point, you'll see that there's two options here um, immediately to sort by either smallest to largest or largest to smallest. So in this case, since I want the highest priority on top and that highest priority is a one, I'm going to go smallest to largest. I'm going to click on that and you'll see that the list has now sorted itself to have the highest priority on top. This can be useful if you need to sort by numeric value. So the next thing I want to show you is how to sort by first letter using the status column. So in this case, it's you get the actual A to Z options and Z to A options. So in this case, I'm just going to go A to Z. And you'll see that it now has sorted by this column. You'll notice here in the in the box the up arrow, which indicates that it is sorting from A to Z. Now let's say you had a really long list and you wanted to filter out certain things so that you certain items so that you don't see them. So in this case, I just want to see everything that Mary is involved in. So I'm going to take the owner column here and I'm simply going to click on it. And I'm going to come down here and select Mary. Now in this case they're all selected so I can just select all. That will clear the checks and then select Mary. Hit OK and automatically I'll have this, the list filtered by Mary. The nice thing about filters is I can actually stack them and uh, I can come over here and then also filter off of something else like status and say I only want to see the completed projects that Mary's completed. Click on that and now I'm down to one line item. I can come back here and remove Mary and simply say select everybody and in this case since I have complete still I'm only getting the two completed projects. I can come back over here remove that filter completely by just say clear the filter from status and now the entire list is back. You can also filter by text within a cell by using the text filters. Simply go down to text filters and then choose which type you'd like to use. Use the word contains, type in the word figure, and at this point I'll get the one line item that has figure. So there's lots of options there. Again I can clear that. I can come back to text filters and show you other things. Um, including begins with, ends with, and you can use that on any of these columns. Finally, the last thing I'm going to show you is if you have a table and it, you want to turn off the auto filter, you simply come up to the data tab, go to filter, and in this case it's turned on, so you just click on it and that will turn those off. In order to add the filters, you would highlight your data table with the headings. Excel needs to know where to find that data, and then simply click on filter.